Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to be blocking out the head for our dogs to make kind of like the shell for our product here. And so first I'm going to grab these objects and maybe for the roll, we'll make it kind of see through. Just click on the object data here, viewport display. And for display as we want to see maybe just the wireframe of it for now. That'll just give us a reference. So now we've got something we can actually work with. Um, I'm going to hide this real quick, just hit H. And so now we want to make the base mesh. So I'm going to go to side view. So everyone click three and we're going to create a base mesh right around the head here. And we can start right where the eye is. Um, that's fine. Or just shift S and cursor to world origin. And we can just do a new mesh. But first we want to bring it in to our flexible design here and we could call this maybe even you know front and this is side there's our reference photos and let's bring in our dog head so shift a and we do a mesh all day and we'll do a cube and the cube comes in really really tiny but let's just go ahead we know that the it needs to be somewhere you know in that size so i'm kind of just looking at the size of his head just somewhere in there maybe 35 and let's rotate it a little bit and hit G and just kind of putting the box somewhere near his little head. And this will give us kind of a rough, rough, get it? <laughs> a rough uh, layout for his head here. And what we're gonna do is just go into wireframe and see through mode with Alt Z. And we're just gonna start stretching this cube out to fit his head. So click on the cube and we're gonna go tab into edit mode maybe grab the points with one and let's take our box select and just select these and we're just going to extrude out and maybe scale it in a little bit and just kind of wrap this around his face a little bit and notice that it's it's doing everything from the 3d cursor that's because we still have it up here so we can just do active element is fine and now when we scale it's going to scale on the line that'll help tremendously and then I need to slide it back so just GG and we'll bring it in here and just G to grab it and the tricky part of this is that we're actually messing with a, a cube or a box and so you only you want to grab both but an easier way to do this is just to go ahead and kind of symmetrize everything or uh, you know kind of auto mirror so what we can do is go into object mode I'll kind of turn this cube back to solid view so we can kind of see what's happening here turn off our x-ray we'll go to edit down here and we have auto mirror and if you don't have that turned on just make sure you have it turned on in your add-ons just search for auto mirror and we're going to auto mirror on the x-axis so that'll make making this dog head way easier so let's just hit auto mirror and it looks like nothing happened but if we go into edit mode notice we're only getting points on this side anything we do over here will happen on the other side so that's very helpful um, if you want to see the dots on the other side you can turn this on this little guy here the on cage and that will let you be able to edit both sides but for our case I'll just keep it off but if you need that so let's go back to the side view and now we can really get rocking I might even just switch this over to lasso select and maybe just switch over to edge mode and just double double click on that so just went and selected this face here go to three and then hit E to extrude and just scale it down a little bit. E to extrude it some more. E for a little bit more. Maybe three. That should be fine. And then now we can take each one of these, just kind of scale it down as we need. We can also go into uh, point mode and just kind of loop these around. And the tricky part here is making sure you always grab the pair. You know, you want to grab these together. So just grab those. As long as you're in see-through mode, you should have no problem doing that, or x-ray mode. So see, I just did it again. I'll just grab all these. Just kind of line the face of your dog or your creature, whatever you're doing on your end. So notice it's kind of starting to come up here. And we're just following kind of the line of the jaw. I'm gonna hit GG and just kind of slide that around here. 
let's just keep on going. So we can do control R to make a loop cut and just do one here, maybe scale it up a little bit. And just try and follow the head and the jaw. Do another loop cut right around here. Let me scale that up. Just grab it. There we go. And maybe just select all these here. And just move those up in here, kind of where the jaw is. It's looking pretty good. And so first we'll just go ahead and make the entire kind of skull area right here. And just hit E and kind of make them spaced out as even as you can there. Extrude there, kind of scale it in. And that's looking pretty good. So if you've made it this far, good job. Let's go ahead and jump into the next lesson where we're going to talk about blocking out the jaw and adding some ears.